Welcome back. It's an iconic Miami Beach hotel that's hosted world figures and celebrities for decades. But there's another side to the Fountain Blue Hotel that many don't even know about. Yeah, get this. Beneath it all is a whole other world. NBC Miami's Jeff Burnside got a little special access tonight. He's on Miami Beach with more. Jeff? It's just another night at the Fountain Blue Hotel. The main famous lobby behind me over here is Live Nightclub, where members of U2 are expected to be here. They have the Transformers movie premiere, and Michael Bay is supposed to be here. This is just another night at the Fountain Blue. Not what goes on here, but what goes on down there, below all this. There are the steaks, the lobster, the buns, the pastries, the champagne. It's all in the catacombs of hallways that no one ever sees underneath the billion dollar fountain blue that the whole world knows. Hey. Good to see you. And it's all run by the conductor of this big orchestra, Thomas Connell. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Who walks miles every day and who shakes a lot of hands. All right. All right. All right. Good, good. Executive chef means that I'm responsible for anything that you put in your mouth when you're here on property. And at the Fontainebleau, that means 11 different restaurants, bars, and cafes where you can order food and beverages. Responsible, good, bad, or indifferent. And with the massive 4th of July weekend now here, this place is under incredible pressure. The weekend is going to be very busy, so I want to make sure that the stock is up. This giant refrigerator and this giant chilled warehouse holds $1.3 million in food that empties every three days. Limes, cilantro, romaine. I mean, that's an old rule of business, you know. I mean, money in the pocket is worth more than the money on the shelf. Carlos, how are you? Connell depends on Carlos Ladinas, the king butcher. They grind their own burger for 3,000 hamburgers served this weekend. It all gets aged for weeks in here before Carlos trims it to perfection. This is the dry-aged prime rib that we'll be serving in Vita tonight. And the seafood, like lobster, is still swimming down here. Here's a tilapia, and even an eel will be sushi, generally within hours. Is this one of the biggest ovens you've ever seen? Out come the cakes, and in go the buns and 3,000 hamburger buns for this weekend, too. This is uh, the best part of doing a story about the Fountain Blue food is this. Mm. They make 20,000 pastries in a single day. And gelato right out of the maker, they told me there's nothing like it. And they are right. For all the liquor, how many people would die to have a, uh, a home fridge like this, you know? One million dollars just in the chill room alone. Outside, there are rows and rows and rows of alcohol, the big moneymaker for any restaurant. The Fountain Blue is king of Grey Goose, selling up to 5,000 bottles a month. And moving, he does, getting ready for the dinner rush, where all that food actually gets prepared by chefs in ways that are designed to make your mouth water and your wallet open right up. So I, I tell you, we, we were looking at the pastries on our way out tonight, and we saw a beautiful plate of chocolate-dipped strawberries, and I, I couldn't help but think, and it just looked like one of them was missing. But they offered it to me, and I wasn't going about to, to, to turn it down. Live at the Pound of Blue, Jeff Burnside, NBC Miami Beach. That's a good excuse, and you're going to stick with that. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my gosh, our mouths are water watering, Jeff. I can't even speak. <laughs> it was a good assignment. It was a good assignment. Oh, I'm man. Sure. Jeff, thanks. Somebody's got to do it, right? All right what was your favorite there? I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going over there right now. Chocolate. <laughs> More the chocolate. Steaks. Oh, and the buns. <laughs> oh, and, my gosh. You know, not that we're asking, a little Grey Goose wouldn't be bad. Okay. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> to top it all off. Hey, the results are in.